posture, asana. Asana is important. Posture is important for balancing the mind also. This body is uh, called as a container. This container got to be firm and relaxed. It's a flimsy container. If the container is very weak, we can't do any sadhana. In this container, mind is there. If the container itself is weak, mind cannot be strong. The scripture says you have to strengthen, strengthen the container. Without having a strong container, we can't accomplish great things in our life. However noble is our objective, <clears throat> if the container is weak, if I am falling sick often, then I can't do anything. My goals may be great, but I can't do anything. And for that, it says, strengthen your body, strengthen. You need to have a strong body, healthy body, and you're not falling sick often. That that healthy body is required in Upanishad also it talks about Nayam Atma Balahinena Labhyaha one who is very weak that person cannot accomplish great things in their life one has to be strong physically and not only physically I may be looking physically very strong but if I am very mentally weak I can't take decision always confused I don't know what to do with my life Small problem in my life, I go into depression. That person also cannot achieve great things in the life. Scripture says, not only the body, you have to strengthen the mind. And you have to pay more attention to the mind. Mind can change the destiny of us. Mind, by taking the right decision at the right time, we can whether you are successful or failure, it's because of the mind. Look after the mind. What is the food for the mind? Food for the mind, one food, it says how to control the mind is pranayam, breathing. Those who knows the art of breathing, there is no, they, they, it's, uh, they, are gener they are generally healthy and their mind is very stable. In the breathing, breathing is called as uh, Reins of the horse. Horse, uh, horse is mind is compared to a horse. To control a horse, to manage the horse, you need the reins in the hands. Reins are called as breathing. The breathing, the when we are uh, agitated, disturbed, we tend to breathe very. Our breathing is very jerky, jerky breathing. And, uh, when we are relaxed when we are, uh, our breathing becomes longer and deeper. And the purpose of pranayama, uh, pranayama to reduce the length of the breath. It says in the Gherand Upanishad also, if the length of the breath, sup, uh, you hear people snoring, when they are snoring in the sleep also, their breathing is very long, even in the sleep. They draw the air, from long distance and out. Those who draw the air, length of the breath is too long, their lifespan reduces. By practicing pranayama, now when I'm talking, my length of the breath is about 12 inches, about one foot away from our, my nostril. By practicing pranayama, if I am uh, running, the length of the breath can go up to 24 inches or 30 inches also. If I'm climbing the mountain, it becomes longer. And on the other token, by pra practicing the pranayama, the length of the breath can be reduced to one inch or two inches. Gently it is going in and gently coming out. Others won't hear the noise. Others are not hearing the noise. That is the pranayama. Pranayama, pr practicing that one, that it's a, it becomes very smooth, smooth inhale and smoother exhale. Our breathing, breathing, they say we breathe uh, 15 times a minute. Healthy person, when we are calm and relaxed, it takes about two seconds for inhale, two seconds for exhale. And in one minute, 
that is one round four seconds in one minute 15 times one hour 900 times in one day we breathe 21,600 times when we breathe 21,600 times it is one day for the body our life is measured based on the breath when we breathe 21,600 times it is one day for this body if I practice pranayama instead of taking four seconds per cycle I take eight seconds per cycle so 21,600 <coughs> for this body but outer clock has gone only 12 hours 100 years for the body outer clock says only 50 years those who do yoga generally they look very healthy very vibrant the age is not showing up because of this pranayama it's a, when you are doing this one that though they may be 80 years 90 years they look like 40 years 50 years so much of energy if uh, on the other token i do not practice uh, uh, yoga pranayama i am always under stress and uh, instead of taking four seconds per cycle i take only two seconds per cycle 21,600 for this body, outer clock has gone to two days. And 50 years for the body, outer clock says 100 years. That person may be around only teenager or 30 years. He or she may be looking 40 years, 50 years. Because, the, because of the pranayama, prana is depleted. And uh, the creator, when he created everyone's quota, when we are born is 777.2 million breaths that is our quota every breath we are counting like <coughs> one less one less one less and it is up to us how long we extend our lifespan how how much to shorten in mahabharata mahabharata also it talks about uh, the by doing the pranayama pranayama we have three elements in the body Sattva, Rajas and Tamas. Tamas is the, it's a gross part. It makes us very dull. And even that dullness is required for sleep. If you are so active, you can't sleep. That Tamas and Rajas, Rajas makes you very dynamic. And Sattvic means clarity in thinking, calmness, serenity. We have three elements. By practicing yoga, by practicing pranayama, the Tamasic element in the body reduces, rajasic element also reduces, one becomes calm, serene, and uh, one can face any difficult situation without getting excited, it's uh, agitated, disturbed, very calm person, calm person, calm person. That person is fit to be a leader. The leader's quality is that one. That person need to have very calm mind, able to think properly, not taking the rash decision. Calm person. If you want to be a, that a teacher's quality, teacher's quality got to be that one. Very calm. Think ahead. And that person, to that person, many people come to that person to take advice, to seek solace and by practicing this one mind becomes very calm serene and also that person by, by practicing yoga it says in the scriptures the uh, it's uh, our skin complexion changes some luster in the skin I'm not applying any cream still there is some sort of brilliance is there say some sort of brilliance in the eyes that I can't get by applying the makeup. Some from inside, some energy, that sattvic energy, ojas and tejas, it starts radiating through that one. That face, some sort of glow is there. It's a, and that person's voice changes as practices, deep, it becomes deeper. People would like to hear that person. That person's talk 
becomes like a rumbling of the, uh, it's a cloud, it's a, like a thunder. It's a deep voice. Voice becomes deeper. And skin, there is a glow in the face. It's a glow in the skin. Without applying any cream, there is there's some sort of radiance. And from the skin, from the body, and special odor emits. It says in the Shweta Shwetar Upanishad also talks about, and Hatha Yoga Pradipika also talks about, that person, some fragrance. Fragrance emits from the body, that f fragrance. That is also, these are the byproduct of doing pranayama and yoga. That person, other, otherwise we apply deodorant before you go to work and in the after at work also a few times you apply deodorant, still people stink while well, practicing this one. You need not have to apply the deodorants. That special odor, you won't be stinking. That, that special, that um, the secretion from the body, it, it has a fragrance. These are the benefits of pranayama, pranayama and yoga. We will do one is uh, uh, today, Ujjayi Pranayama will do, we'll uh, re record that one. Here by the sitting you can uh, practice Ujjayi Pranayama. Ujjayi Pranayama is like uh, you have a car, it's a, you, that car, uh, tire pressure, say 220, it's a 220 kPa. KPA. It's a 220 kPa. You go to a petrol station or service station, you make sure that 220. It's 220. But unfortunately, there is a puncture. You won't realize. After one week, you realize. Last week, I went to service station and it was 220. Why flat? I have. It's only half. Only 100. Air has leaked out. When the air has leaked out, what is the problem? My mileage comes down. Vehicle is not running at full capacity. It's because of the tire. Tire, longer contact place has increased because of the drag, fuel consumption increases. Resistance to flow, movement increases. And so is this one. And the, though puncture is there, that air is coming out. Ujjayi is done similar way. And you are inhaling in one go. You filled up the tire in one go, but slow release. Slow release helps in control, having a control on our breath. Now we are inhaling and exhaling. We have no control. It is a prana jaya to have a victory over our prana because the prana victory is required then only we can manage the mind. Victory. These are the prana jaya. How to manage the mind? How to win the prana? This jay pranayama will practice like slow release of the air. While releasing, if you pay attention, there is a small hissing sound. You will hear that one. That way, the ujjayi, when you are breathing out, some sound, you hear that one. I will show you. You are inhaling in one go. Slow exhale, like when you are inhaling, you are like uh, Ujjayi, name of name itself, Jaya. Jaya means victorious. When you have, uh, it's uh, got something special, your chest puffs up. When you win, it's a chest puffs up. You inhale. That is Ujjayi. Name itself is like a victorious. You are very happy. When you are happy, chest opens up. Like, inhale, now you are exhaling. Got that one? You are inhaling in one go, and as you are exhaling, 
slowly you are throttling this one you are uh, doing the jhalandara bandha you are trying to bring slowly chin and collar bone complete exhale you are emptying your lungs completely all the toxins from the lungs are released makes the body it's a toxin free okay and helps in getting the mastery over the breath we'll do again everyone inhale 